we would like for you to come down and play on one of our records. And I'm like, okay, all right. And so he explained the circumstance. They had a deadline that they needed to uh, adhere to and that they had fallen behind schedule and they wanted me to play a few of the solos, which was not unheard of in the day. I, I remember when the Beatles showed up with some of uh, their new material and somebody whispered in my ear, it's not Ringo, it's Bernard Purdy on drums. Somebody else played drums? Or that's Eric Clapton on guitar on that song. Clapton's playing on a Beatles song? You know, so it wasn't so unusual. And, you know, I kind of took it as a, well, here's an opportunity for me to show the band what they would have sounded like with me playing. Obviously, at the time, Ace was in the band, and I was kind of guided into the try to play like Ace, which, which made sense since he was gonna be the credited guitar player on the record. But, having said that, I was able to play stuff that was very Ace-like since our styles are very familiar. Ace, to me, was sort of a Jimmy Page style guitarist. Well, I consider myself Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck style guitarist. So this all seemed like it fit totally in my style. But there were a few things that I was able to play that were not in Ace's vocabulary or in several of the other guitar players who were popular at the time vocabulary. And those were the drastic overbends that I played, especially on, I guess, the keynote song on that record being Larger Than Life. So if you remember, I mean, every, I was asked if I wanted to play along with the record, and I kind of thought that I didn't want to do that, because I just thought that would be kind of lame, to be honest. So I think everybody knows the tune. I'll just refresh everybody's memory, but play a little bit of the rhythm parts, and then uh, I'll show some of these solos. So this is uh, the larger than life, as you will recall. kind of stuff. So... Figures. That's all these solos wound up being was parts of this, that, and and the other thing, coupled with a couple of the ideas that I had. So the the, the main body solo. Uh, Thank you. 
Something like that. So anyway, this was, you know, going through these solos as I was doing them, Paul and Gene were very particular about, we like this, we don't like that, we do like this, we do like that, but they never said anything about some of those overbends. So that kind of, if somebody is saying to you it was Rick Derringer or somebody else, you can point that part out to them that basically, they're not his style, not his thing to play those kind of parts. So, we move to the end of the song, there was the, um, the big... Uh, <laughs> And then the very ending. Nay, <laughs> Sorry for fumbling through it. <laughs>